Hi guys, it's me, Terry of the Yarn Joy Podcast. Welcome to part nine of the Baby Educational Ball tutorial series. This is a pattern by Patricia Heller, and thank you, Patricia, for allowing me to make a tutorial on your, your design. Okay, so this is actually part eight, or the eighth panel of the ball, um, the Baby Educational Ball, okay? So today we're going to do the panel with the strawberry on it. So you're going to need one of your finished panels and then some red and just a little bit of green and just a very small amount of white. Okay. You're also going to need a stitch marker, a yarn needle to weave in your ends, a pair of scissors, and you're going to need the crochet hook that you've been using throughout your project. I've been using a 3.0 millimeter crochet hook because the yarn that I'm using is a number three weight, sport weight or baby weight yarn, okay? So you just wanna continue using the same weight of yarn throughout your whole entire project and your sa the same crochet hook. Okay, and I think that's it, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so taking your red yarn, we're gonna do the berry first. Make sure I get the right end here, not this one. <laughs> okay, this one. And I'm going to start with a magic circle. You can also chain, uh, put a, a slip knot on your hook and then chain two and then work in the second chain from the hook. But I'm going to do a slip knot, I mean a magic circle or magic ring. Okay, and into the magic circle or magic ring or the stitch that you're working into, you're wanting you want to do six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five and six, okay? And then you're gonna draw, uh, pull on your beginning tail to cinch up your circle, if you're doing a magic circle or magic ring, okay? And that is the end of round one. You should have six stitches all the way around, okay? Now we're working in spirals, we're not going to join our rounds, so going right, work, r working right into the first stitch of, the round, of round one, we're going to do two single crochets, in the first stitch, okay? So, one and two. Two single crochets in that first stitch. I'm gonna take my marker, I'm gonna put it into the first stitch of those two that we just made. That will mark the beginning of my round, okay? And going on, we're going to now do uh, one single crochet in the next two stitches. So one single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, okay? And then we're gonna repeat that sequence around. We're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch, one and two, all both in the same stitch. And then we're gonna do one single crochet in the next two stitches. So one single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch. And now we're all, we're finished with round two and at the end of round two, you should have eight stitches all the way around your circle, okay? So I'm gonna take out my marker and going on to round three, we're going to do two single crochets in the neck in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next three stitches okay so in the very next stitch we're going to do two single crochets into that stitch one and two we're going to put our marker into the first stitch of those two that we just made okay and then we're going to do one single crochet in the next in one each in the next three stitches. So one, two, three. Okay, now we're gonna do two single crochets in the next stitch, one and two. And then we're gonna do one single crochet in the next three stitches, one, two, and three. And that gets us to the end of round three. And at the end of round three, we should have 10 stitches all the way around our circle. 
Okay, we're moving our marker going on to round four. We're going to do two single crochets in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next four stitches. Okay, so two single crochets in the first stitch, one and two. Okay, and then we're going to uh, put our marker in the first stitch of those two that we just made. Okay, and now we're going to do one stitch in the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. And now we're going to repeat that sequence. We're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch and then one single crochet in the next four stitches. And I will meet you when I get back to the marker. Okay, so I got back to the marker. That was the end of round four. And at the end of round four, you should have 12 stitches all the way around your circle. Okay, going on to round five, we're going to do two single crochets in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next five stitches. So two single crochets, one and two. And then we're going to put our marker in the first stitch of those two that we just made. And then we're going to do one single crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. And then we're going to repeat that again. We're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch and then one single crochet in the next five stitches. And I will, I'm going to do that and then I will meet you when I get back to the marker. Okay. I'm back to the marker and uh, that was the end of round five. And at the end of round five, you should now have 14 stitches all the way around your circle. We're moving our marker going on to round six. Round six, we're going to have two single crochets in the next, for the first stitch, and then one single crochet in the next six stitches. So two single crochets in the first stitch, one and two. Okay, put our marker into the first stitch of those two that we just made, and then we're going to do one single crochet in the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and we're going to repeat that again. We're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch and then one single crochet in the next six stitches and I will meet you when I get back to the marker. Okay, I'm back to the marker. That is the end of round six and at the end of round six you should have 16 stitches around okay going on to round seven I'm going to take my marker out and then it says to do two single crochets in the first stitch one and two put my marker into the first of those two stitches that I just made and now I'm going to do one single crochet in the next seven stitches one two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And I'm going to repeat that around and I'm going to, so I'm going to do two single crochets in the next stitch and then one single crochet in the next seven stitches and I will meet you when I get to the marker. Okay, I'm back to the marker and at the end of round seven, you should have 18 stitches all the way around your circle. And now for round eight, I'm just going to do one stitch in each, uh, one single crochet in each stitch around. So I will still have 18 stitches in uh, around my circle. Okay, so I'm going to put one stitch in the next one single crochet in the next stitch, replace my marker so I'll know which one was the first one. And then I'm just going to do one single crochet all the way around and I will meet you when I get back to the marker. Okay, so I'm at the, back at the marker again and so at the end of round eight we still have 18 stitches all the way around our circle. Taking out our marker and going on to round nine, 
we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch and then we're going to do a single crochet decrease okay so we're going to do one single crochet in the first stitch and we'll put our marker there to mark it okay okay so in the next stitch we're going to do an invisible decrease I'm going to um, put my hook underneath the front loop only of the next stitch and then twist my hook around and go on the under the front loop only of the next stitch also draw up a loop through both of those loops and then draw a go draw up a loop and finish the single crochet like regular okay and now we're going to repeat that all the way around so we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch just a regular single crochet and then we're going to do an invisible decrease in the next two stitches okay so that's going to turn those two stitches into one just like that okay and now repeat that sequence all the way around until we get back to the marker and I'll meet you there okay I'm, I'm back at the marker again and now at the end of round nine you should now have only 12 stitches around your circle okay so taking out my marker going on to round 10 I'm going to do um, just an invisible decrease and I'm going to do that all the way around so that I'll take my stitch count from 12 down to 6 okay so going right into the next stitch I'm going to go under the front loops only okay and then twist my hook around and go under the front loops only of the next stitch as well okay and then draw up a loop under those two loop uh, those those two stitches and then I'm going to finish off the single crochet like regular okay so that was my first stitch so I'm going to put my stitch my marker back in there to mark my first stitch and then I'm going to do that five more times okay same thing so we're not doing any regular single crochets we're just doing an invisible decrease and we're going to do that five more times all the way around the circle okay until we get back to the marker again and I will meet you when I get there okay so I'm back to the marker again I now only have six stitches all the way around my circle there and so I'm going to take off my marker okay we're not going to stuff the strawberry we're just going to push it flat okay and now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to fasten off because I'm finished with the berry part so I'm just going to insert my hook into the very next stitch and do a slip stitch to fasten off okay and now I do want to leave a tail for sewing this berry onto our panel so make sure you leave a tail long enough for sewing okay and then now I'm just going to draw my since I did a slip stitch I'm going to just draw my loop uh, you know pull the yarn all the way through in other words <laughs> okay so there's our berry okay it's going to go right there in the middle of our panel like that okay but before we do that I'm going to um, put some greenery up at the top of the berry so I'm going to get the green yarn, attach it onto my hook with a slip stitch. Okay. Then I'm going to take my strawberry and then I'm just going to insert it into the top of my um, berry and since it see we do we do still have an opening at the top. I didn't fin I didn't uh, stitch it closed so we can do that he here at the same time that we um, put our little leaves at the top okay so I'm going to insert my hook from the back to the front just at the top of this the berry and I'm going to be working through both you know the front and the back both thicknesses because this will um, um, sew the top together <laughs> okay so I'm going to just join this with slip stitch okay and I'm going to change five. Chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. And now I'm going to slip stitch back down my chain. And it says to go back with three slip stitches. So I'm going to um, slip stitch into the third stitch from the hook, looks like. And I'm going to just slip stitch into it, okay? And then I'm going to slip stitch down, down, back down that chain, 
in each chain uh, going down to back to the base of the strawberry. Just like that, okay? And now I'm going to insert my hook into the next stitch through the front and the, its mate at the back through the top of the strawberry and do a slip stitch. See, this is closing up the top of our berry also, okay? And now it says, uh, for this next one, it says to chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, okay? And now I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the uh, previous leaf. I'm going to slip stitch into the third chain from the hook and work my way down that chain. Okay, this one I should have four of them to do. So there's one, two, one in each chain all the way down, three, and four. Okay, and now I'm going to go into the next stitch uh, on the strawberry through the front and then it's uh, mate, it, it's matching stitch at the back of it, still sealing up that top of the strawberry, and I'm going to do a slip stitch. Okay, and then I'm going to do some more leaves. I believe she has you do five, uh, three more leaves, and each one of them is just going to be the chain five, and then work down the chain doing slip stitches the same way that we've been doing it. Um, one, two, three, four, and five. And then in the third chain from the hook, do a slip stitch. It's kind of tricky working, doing slip stitches into this small work. I think I split my yarn, so I'm going to try that again. <laughs> okay. Okay. So slip stitch into the third chain from the hook. Okay, that was better. Okay, and then slip stitch down to the into the next chain. Okay, and then slip stitch into the bottom chain. Okay, and then slip stitch into the strawberry again from the front to the back. With a slip stitch okay and then now uh, do uh, two more of those leaves and I will meet you when I'm finished with that okay so I'm finishing up my fifth little leaf here I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch down into the strawberry to fasten off okay and now I'm going to fast uh, cut my yarn I just want enough to be able not very much you just want to be able to uh, have enough to hide your ends um, inside the strawberry okay so I'll take my yarn needle and I will yarn up my needle with the green and I'm just going to go into the strawberry uh, you're not going to be able to see the back of the strawberry because you're going to be stitching it onto the panel so if you want to come out the back that's fine um, just make sure that you do not uh, come through the front okay and now I'm going to do my beginning tail as well go into that strawberry and come out close to where I came out on the other one like that okay and make sure you did not stitch in the front and then I'm just going to tie these ends together in a knot and cut them short Okay. okay, so now we're ready to put our little spots on our, our strawberry to make it look more like a strawberry. So I cut a piece of just scrap of white yarn and I'm going to uh, yarn up my needle. And then just wherever you want to do it and however many that you want to make you, you make it looks like a strawberry, just cut, go from the back up to the front and then just put some little white um, stitches leave a tail at the back there and then just put some tiny little white stitches on your strawberry and that's for the seeds on the straw the seeds of the strawberry okay like that and you just want to put them um, 
all over, just in different spots. My tail's getting tangled in the back there. <laughs> okay. Just like that. Okay. And so just put the put them all, you know, in different places. And you can put as many or as few as you want. However you like it, the, you know, as long as you like the way it look, it's looking, just go ahead and do what you want on it. I'm going to put some more spots on my strawberry, some more seeds, and then I will meet you back when I get finished, okay? Okay, so I finished put my, putting my seeds on my strawberry. My strawberry has quite a few seeds. <laughs> And uh, the only thing I did back at the back when I got finished, I cut my yarn and then I tied the end, the beginning white strand to the end of the white strand, those two ends, I tied them together in a knot and then trimmed it uh, short, okay? Now I'm going to take my panel and we're going to sew our panel, our strawberry, onto the panel, okay? And just uh, get it centered in the center of our strawberry, okay? Uh, take our yarn needle and yarn up our yarn, uh, our needle with the red yarn, the tail from our strawberry. Okay, and then I'm going to just um, start sewing it around, uh, sewing it down to the center of my panel. Okay, and just uh, sew it all the way around. And I will meet you when I get my strawberry sewed onto my panel. Okay. Okay, so I'm just about finished with sewing on my strawberry. I've got up to the top where the uh, the leaves are. And so what I'm going to do is just go across. My stitch is going to go across, still being in the red part of the strawberry, and just sewing that through. But that way my uh, leaves will stay um, free and not be tight, uh, stitched down to the panel. Okay. So I'm just about done. I'm just going to put a few couple of stitches in here going across this top part of the strawberry. Okay. And now I'm going to turn my piece over and I'm going to secure it. I still had the tail from my, from my beginning tail of my panel, so I'm just going to tie those two tails together in a knot. Okay, and then trim them short. Okay, so there's our strawberry square. So this one went, went pretty quick, uh, not a square, actually, it's a panel. But anyway, <laughs> this one went pretty quick. So um, I guess that's it for today's tutorial. And um, stay tuned, and in a few days, I'll have part 10 up, next one in the series. And let's see, for the next one, we will be doing a flower, uh, like a daisy. Okay, so thanks guys for watching, and we will see you in the next tutorial. Bye!